for you guys. Our first morning in Newfoundland and oh my god we're so excited to be here. We're gonna go do a tour of the wetlands today and uh, see what other campground we can stay at because there is no cell network here. So Just a little, little bar. Oh yeah one bar. Yeah. It's not doing much. But otherwise this campground is absolutely gorgeous and we're just so happy to be here. So we're heading out. in Kadro Valley in Newfoundland and oh my god this place is spectacular lots of wetlands rivers mountains and just amazing views since we're at the Grand Codroy RV tent and camping park we were given this map it's a map of the area the Codroy Valley and it shows the scenic loop on here and what we did is we stopped at the first stop which is the wetland center so right over here and that's at the beginning of the driving loop and we spoke with someone there that gave us an idea of the must-see places in this driving loop really recommend stopping there and speaking with someone because they're very knowledgeable about the area and they gave us some insight on what we would want to do based on our specific needs so we want to do a little bit of driving a little bit of hiking stopping taking pictures and all that and they did recommend this place where we are right now it's the holy trinity anglican church and it's right before you get to cape anguil lighthouse and what's special about this church is that it's open 24 hours a day so you can go in and take a look at the beauty of the architecture and the stained glass that's inside but just when you get here this locale is just so spectacular i mean look at this this is just beauty, surrounded by beauty. I can just imagine for the people that live here what it's like to live in a place like this. So let's take a look around. So this is a little entry nook. Oh, this just blows my mind. Look at how beautiful this is. And right at the back there, you can see there's a beautiful stained glass piece. So we're going to go up and take a closer look. Beauty.
Okay guys, so our last stop was Cape Anguille Lighthouse. It was a pretty little lighthouse and they have an inn there. So if you want, you can actually stay there. So this next spot is the bridge where uh, the Grand Codroy River meets the St. Lawrence. So there's sandy beaches on either side of us. There's this great parking spot here. So you're able to, to park and cross the road to that side. And also behind me, there's another um, sandy beach spot. So we're gonna explore this little area a little bit. And now we have a, a neighbor. There's quite a lot of wind here today. So I apologize in advance for the wind noise, but right over there, so right there, that's the Codroy River, and that's where it meets the St. Lawrence over here. Beautiful white sandy beaches. That couple over there was actually on the ferry, parked right beside us, and they have a camper van, so I think they're from Denmark. We haven't chatted with them yet, but... Look at these beautiful beaches. Beautiful, beautiful landscape around here, and the Codroy Valley and the wetlands are definitely a must see. I know a lot of people must pass right by just on their way to Grossmorn Park, but all of these stops that we've done, they're free. You can take pictures and meander as long as you want. You could set up, you know, a little picnic enjoy, spend as much time here as you want. You, you don't have to pay a thing. Whereas the national park, you'll definitely have to pay entry. So definitely, definitely worth looking around here. B stepped in the ocean. B, how was the water? Was it a little cold? She's a water dog, that's for sure. something to be said about traveling off season there's nobody for miles around nobody I mean we stopped at the last beach and there was another couple from Denmark otherwise we saw this huge fifth wheel he had to keep right on by because his rig was so huge besides that I mean there aren't many tourists and Okay, I get it. You know, the provincial parks are closing September 10th and September 17th, and today is September 2nd, so we don't have a whole lot of time. But traveling off season, if you can, if you don't have kids in school, it's just, it just makes sense. You have lower prices, no crowds, you get to be the only one enjoying this amazing beauty. So we're having a really, really nice time in Newfoundland, and so far, We've just scratched the surface. If you can visit Newfoundland, if it's not too far, if it's not too expensive for the ferry, because the ferry round trip for us was about $700. If you could do it, it's definitely worth coming here to check it out. We've just begun our explorations here and our minds are blown already.